What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a rolling transition in Premiere Pro. Now this is a very simple effect to do and the first thing you want to do is have two clips together like so. Then from there come over to your project, right click, select new item and select adjustment layer. Select OK and drag and drop this above these two clips here. Now you want to size it down so it's not too long. From there, the next thing we're going to do is head over to the Effects tab, and from the Effects tab, we're going to type in Offset, and it's under Video Effects, Distort, and Offset should be there. Left click and drag this onto the Adjustment layer, and from there, come over to the Effects Controls, make sure you are selected on the Adjustment layer, and come down, and you'll see we have it right here. Now, what we're going to do is come to the center and come back five keyframes. So one, two, three, four, five. Now you can come back more. It depends how long or how quick you want this transition to be. So I'm going to pick five and then where it says shift center two, I'm going to toggle the animation and we're going to leave the frame as it is. Then we're going to come back to the center right here and then we're going to come across five. So one, two, three, four, five. So from here, you pick how you want it. Do you want it horizontal or do you want it um, vertical? Or you can even mix it up and have it in diagonal transition. So the one on the right here is going to adjust it to vertical. And you'll see if I come down, that from there, from the start, is now one. So that is going to be one flip. We can go again. That's going to be two flips. You can keep going as much as you would like to. And if you make a mistake or you just want to reset it, you can always come here and press this button. Now to make it horizontal, then just come here and as you can see, do the exact same thing except for on this side here. Now this is what we currently have, so I'm going to play it through. As you can see, it sort of gives that effect. Now on that last frame right here, we're also going to blend with original, toggle that keyframe. So press this button here, we're going to come across one frame. And from there, you're going to put this all the way up to 100%. So it's just one frame apart, so everything will be smooth. So now playing it through, that is what it currently looks like. And now we're going to do one more thing just to make this effect look a lot more smoother. We're heading back up to effects, and this time we're going to type in directional blur. And as you can see, it's under video effects, under blur and sharpen, and you will see directional blur. We're going to drag and drop this onto the adjustment layer. From there, we're going to come up to Effect Controls. Again, make sure you are selected on the Adjustment layer. Come down and you will see Directional Blur. Now what we're going to do is come to the center right here and we're going to toggle the animation on the blur length. So just toggle the animation and bring this up. You can pick how you want it. Now I'm going to stay with 81 and then I'm going to come back to the first frame right here. And here I'm going to change this to zero. Then I'm going to come to the end where we stop the animation, which is right there. I'm going to change the blur length to zero. Now, this is what we have. You can see it makes it look a lot more smoother. So that's doing it vertically. How do you do it horizontally? Well, it's very simple. And all we're going to do, this first frame right here where it says shift center two, we're going to leave it as it is. We're going to come across to this last frame here. This is where we make it go vertical or horizontal. We're going to reset it. Now, I'm going to drag this across like so. So that's one, that's two, right there. So that part is done. Now what we need to do is actually uh, toggle the animation for the direction. So we're going to toggle the animation and we're going to set this to 90 degrees. This means it's going to be going across. So I'm going to play this through. That is now a horizontal transition and it looks a lot better. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully this has been useful for you. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.